all right then so now what we need to do is so before jumping into this form options and everything we need to make sure one more thing see if you check out this unpublished form over here it's displaying this banner because this job is unpublished it will be visible it will not be visible something like the banner right so this when it's being displayed only if the fields are not yet completed so we need to display that warning option over here so that's what we are going to do now so what i need to do is and uh right after this specific division this is the place where we need to display the warning before publishing the course something like this okay so this is the place where we need to do so if the job if the job is published which means if it is not published then i need to display this particular option so i'm going to create it as a banner and for that banner of course i'm going to have two different pops one which is going to be the variant so variant of course it is going to be we need to reuse this so that's the reason so i'm going to create it as a warning warning then label what label that you are planning to display it over there so this job is unpublished it will not be it will not sorry it will not be visible in the jobs list save the changes so of course we will run into an error because banner is not yet uh, defined so i'm going to reuse this component so i'm going to put it in the global components right click the components folder and i'm going to create a new file called banner.tsx okay and i'm going to uh, save this make this file as a client component okay so i think we don't need to keep it as a client component because we are going to create the make it as a reusable component for time to time so just like the way how we are using for a button over here for a button we do have the variant options if you're choosing destructive this ui styles it's going to change so just like the same way i'm going to create uh two different patterns over variants over here one is warning and another one is success just if i supply success it's going to make some changes in the look and feel in order to do that what we need to do is um so let's import something so import from uh class variant authority class variants authority basically this is uh, coming from your shaft cn itself i'm going to bring that cva that's the function that we are going to use and i'm going to bring the type variant props we need a type okay this is the pack package that you need to import then i need to import this cn as well from where from our library then i need to import two different icons from where from lucid react icons so from here what i'm going to do is i'm going to need the alert triangle then i'm going to read this check circle these are the two things fine so const banner variance let's create the variance first cva using this function you need to uh, write the common styles then you need to define the variance styles so commonly it's going to have some border okay so here it will not give you the suggestions you can type it by yourself without making any spelling mistakes so let me enable the word wrap or you can what you can do is you can simply type these styles somewhere over here and you can copy it and paste it over here these are the styles that i'm going to use and right after here i'm going to open the object okay so here you can have that uh, variance object open the variance object enter and inside that i'm going to create a variant variant so first variant is going to be the warning which is going to be the warning open it if it is warning what i need to have i need to have a bg yellow color with a pale yellow pillowish color okay and i'm going to create one more if it is success then i need to have some kind of green pale greenish color something like this this is the color pattern okay these are the variants now i need to supply the default variants what is going to be the default variant by default if you haven't mentioned anything so default variant is by default it's going to be the warning 
okay so now we have the variance so just like the same way i need to create the variance for the icons also const icon map which is going to be whenever it is warning the variance is warning so whenever the variant is warning what we are going to do we are going to use this alert triangle and whenever the variant is success we are going to map the icon as what with this check circle with this check circle now let's create the interface now this is how you need to create yourself a reusable component with the variants so banner props which is going to extends the variant props which we imported from that package and it's going to use the type of banner variants which we created open it and it's going to have a label as a string prop inside in it okay so we are going to use these variants as also the properties and we are going to use this label as well as this property okay let's create a component over here so rafc and that is going to be the banner export const and we don't need this package over here okay now we need to extract the props from where from the banner props first one i need to get the variant which is coming from where from your variant prop which from this banner variant we are going to get this variant then we are going to get the label prop label prop these two props okay now what i need to do inside here i need to map those icons so here i'm going to create an icon component icon is equals to icon map so whatever the variant you are supplying whether it is success or warning display it should try to figure out what icon it's need to load if none of the variant is being passed by default what variant we are fixing over here warning you need to supply that over here warning so okay so we are getting an error mm, oops my bad this is not a function so it should be like this okay because it is an object so this is how you can get that value of that object by using the key okay then over here class name um so class name of course it's going to be i'm going to use this cn function which is coming from the library uh provided by the shack scene itself then i'm going to supply the banner variants then i'm going to supply the variants inside so based on the variant whatever i'm supplying it should use this styles based on the variant okay now inside here now what i need to do i need to display the icon which is going to have the class name as height 4 height 4 width the 4 and margin right a little bit space because we are going to display the label text label over here save this changes and let me bring the banner over here from the components save this changes and look at that now if i'm changing this into success see it will change the icon and as well as the label whatever label i'm supplying it over here Cool. so now i can reuse this banner wherever i want because if they on the client side of the user applied for this job we should we can able to uh display this banner whether the user has already uh applied for this job okay so that's the reason we created it as a reusable component okay and next what we are going to do now we are going to jump into this ui part and that is what we are going to design uh, design next